The island of Papua New Guinea consists of the independent state of Papua New Guinea and West Papua, governed by Indonesia. It lies north of Australia in the Bismarck Sea. The island is split in half, but the nations share incredible cultural diversity as well as natural diversity that are unique in the world. The four conservation projects that will be visited are situated in Isipik, Sundown, Medang and Morobe provinces. Travelling on the coastline on boats as well as inlands on roads that are in bad repair creates some challenges. Flying on aeroplanes that are chartered from MAF or Missionary Aviation Fellowship as well as scheduled flights gets the team closer to the villages they will be filming in. The travel takes us on a boat up the mighty Sipic River. We will fly into a community at the foot of the Torricelli mountain range and a banana boat carries us along the Medang coastline. The places that will be visited are Karkum in Medang province, Ambunti on the Sipic River in Isipik province, Ronji in Morobe province and Lumi at the foot of the Torricelli mountain range in Sundown province. The four conservation projects are all centered on enabling and encouraging the indigenous inhabitants in the respective villages to participate in the conservation of some of Papua New Guinea's globally significant endangered wildlife species. These species were hunted and killed for use in customary costumes, sold to foreign buyers as exotic products and consumed by the villagers themselves as a source of protein in an environment where sourcing of protein has traditionally been a challenge. That's the, the framework in which we operate and the framework of the small grants pro program falls under the outputs um, in the overall strategy that look at um, sustainability and livelihoods of communities, environmental protection, um, climate action. Uh, the conservation uh, arm of SIPA does not get the full support, financial support from the national government. So we work closely with international donor partners. Landowners will have to make the choice between having that area set aside for forest activity or for conservation, or having that area set aside for agriculture uh, use or for conservation activity. It's up to those ministers to make that difference. And that's probably our most frustrating thing that we see around the world with politicians um, is they have so much power and they can make so much difference and they can create so much goodness in the world if they had the political will. They've actually seen the actual uh, infrastructure development. Um, they've seen the, uh, the actual uh, impact uh, that the project has on the community. All the projects evolve around reducing pressures on the environment by giving the inhabitants alternative sources of income through development of cash crops or an alternative protein source to sustain the population. There is also the issue of lack of access to markets that needs to be addressed. The country is very rugged and not easy to get from one place to another over mountains, wetlands, seas and rivers. Lack of investment in transport infrastructure inhibits development of the country. I grew up in Utu in, in the 70s. That was when the logging uh, uh, gent uh, logging operations uh, was uh, taking place and I saw the devastation, the depletion and the degradation of the forest resources in the Gogol Naru area with, uh, which uh, planted the seed of agitation on uh, resource exploitation. There are numerous challenges that face the people in the communities around Papua New Guinea. Sometimes it is the lack of road connection, distance from market, the cost of transportation and more. What is similar in all the communities are hardworking people who want a little help to better the chance of helping themselves. Tourism is underdeveloped in Papua New Guinea but has potential. The government has driven some initiatives that show promise but more needs to be done in terms of infrastructure and ease of travel within this extremely rugged and stunningly beautiful country. These projects can also be a driving force for the type of tourism that has been coined as ecotourism. The villagers are able and willing to invest in tourism, but still the tourists are thin on the ground. 
mainly because of how difficult Papua New Guinea is to navigate. The traditional challenges the communities are facing are being further exacerbated by the ever-present and increasing effects of global warming that is affecting the climate in an unpredictable way. Rising sea levels and increased frequency in natural disasters has grave impact on marine life, wildlife and crops in the country. Increase in population has also created challenges for the communities, especially coastal areas, when the need for housing encroaches ever nearer to the shoreline. It has unforeseen and often detrimental consequences for the wildlife the communities are trying to protect and for the communities themselves. These challenges and others are all linked with the success of the conservation projects that are built on the participation of the local population. Areas which have, with high biodiversity, we, we know where they are. The challenge for us is moving in, working with the landowners to try and secure them, getting you know, uh, their, their consent. Um, also, finding out, investigating very, very quickly the opportunities for them to make money. Um, I think, I think that, that to me is a most critical thing to do. Because once we've done that, I think the rest is now organizing the landowners, making sure that they really get the benefit, the real benefit, so that they're all happy. No one is missing out. And when they move together and they all appreciate that this money they're getting uh, can be increased in the future, if they continue to preserve the land, uh, the water, the bush and all that, uh, I think we've got it there. The first village we visit is Karkum, that is located on the north coast of Papua New Guinea in Medang province. Protection of the critically endangered leatherback turtle in Karkum and other neighboring villages was enabled through funding from the UN Development Program Small Grants Program, received by Masinkagin Tapani Association, a community-based organization established to foster the advocacy on protection of the Western Pacific leatherback turtles that visit the shores of Papua New Guinea annually during the breeding season. The leatherback turtles are critically endangered, according to the globally recognized IUCN, or International Union of Conservation and Nature Red List, that is a global reference for species populations. The funding was stopped by the donor due to technical reasons. There are so many challenges, boils down to funding constraint. Uh, you can't operate such a big project with no funding, and no major funding, not just in 100,000. You need a million kina funding to run this type of project. Most of the NGOs, big NGOs, are operating on million kina budget, especially to cover the administrative cost. I'm spending time in the village to be with the people. Even though we don't have the funding, I think by being physically present on the ground and uh, giving my time to the villagers, I think I can somehow convince them to continue to sustain the project. Despite the lack of funding, the villagers in Karkum and the neighboring villages of Sarang and Dibor have decided to carry on with the project to protect the leatherback turtle. There are still issues being debated, but after a period of disharmony, a consensus is being reached amongst the community. Adolf is the main ranger and has taken the lead to try further develop opportunities the Leatherback Conservation Project can create for the community. We come to start the work the project at Rosal Time, Venceslaus Smagundlo, Maskagin Tapani Association, Sot, or call him. Kata, Okam, Okam Avenues Law, Endangered Species Law, 2006. Okam Okam Avenues Avenues Running on Workshops Trainings na time all our workim boundary survey, which is Pine Man Law, Seven Ground. Boundary law conservation area. So I'm asking asking around and me talk about me can help you law. Cogis law. Me using GPS machine law collecting all uh, data all 
coordinates, locations where um, all points of interest. Me collect him na bend me write him kind of book nam salam golo GIS specialist lo most be we all can work a map because me at me no got machine lo a map me seem to solve GPS lo collect the raw data. While conducting your survey, did you come across sacred sites? Lo so you me yes me come lo some sacred sites some old old plow old mat mat old masala place old place tambu eh old papa and old tuna sa tambu in mibla lo long on he got all sacred sites he stop the richness of culture and the heritage of the villages are very important factors the sacred sites can function as buffer zones against deforestation and land degradation, protecting water, forests, and biodiversity. Local myths also help to integrate conservation into the cultural practices. I respect God and long numbers. I'm called upon to have long one for DIY. So what we come to put in. I'm called upon to have no limb and long DIY. DIY may be called in Bupong. Bupong. Long shock place. Long shock place. Minus have long name. Long. The DIY got smell better than trousers. I'm all in that. I'm call up them all in there. I'm going to do a book not play on the long slow. I'm just stop. Stop you go to play picking a section because brass up long old. So stop long old. Now say go down long numbers. Now sing out. Then numbers you go come now sing out. Sing out to mama up long old. You go mama up long say come come on top. You just long. You just boy up picking my Maria. I'm just go down back. What symptoms will you go, go, go on up? Mama belong only at skin don't trust in the skin don't get. They love mark, 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 belong skin don't trust in the car, belong back side, belong in. Go them talking more. One person will go. Bring picking a gold. Come on, stop not talking more. I'm giving you some peace talking more. No can come to watch me more. I'm talking skin don't me, I'm looking. Trust in the car, I'm just more go. The one part time, but you look me when you come back. You come back in, and make put in trash. You come up there, look at them. Look at Mama Blong Olia. 2006, she came in up. 2008, me block him guest house for me. Okay, guest house, he got separate management. Blow me. Walk him continue, he come. Plenty money, he come inside, looks like house, me block him. Now, house it, em. Some of them employment opportunity blow all man maybe the place. Guest house management blow she employ him all workman work maybe the work law house. All workers and come up locally me black create employment opportunities blow all man maybe the place. Na same time too, not blow work or some all agriculture work or some poultry. Farming, na uh, all trade store, na ustaka rin. Yung defeat blow na mo sa m blow one one blow me plus me plus stop yung mo sa m good plus blow yung mo sa m time this la project yung kam me look yung mo sa m time me plus go me plus walk yung this la little walk and me plus walk yung me plus ka coin slahan na me plus ama mas la this la project yung kam me plan my mass, me plan get up, me plan get coins, me plan my mass, and me plan stop. Me plan walk boom one time, me look at my The guest house has now been dismantled, and the women have resorted to other means of earning an income. The traditional cash crops are cocoa, betel nut, and coconut. The access to market is relatively good, but the harvesting of coconut and cocoa has been a bit sporadic and prices low compared to the bilna trade in the highlands region. Karkum is not isolated as such when all the bridges on the roads from Medang are up and the state of the road is acceptable, the driving time is about two hours. Lanti yang plamangi mi plapusi mo longo and karigi mo longo walk one time all papa mama luki mo liglik business papa mama lusi lohan blongol 
develop him all this. Like, if all got all boy plantation at this, like, look, 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 this, like, and I help him this plan. Put him more boy gone side, or more cacao gone side, more on him. Piggery too. Me plan, some play got pig long end, pig bunnies long end, all piggy blum blum, me plan, encourage him all, look out him this plan. Make him good plan bunnies. But you know, if we can get a good uh, piggery build low place, uh, sarang place by got plenty pig. By got plenty young plan mangi. We say they buy interest long, come up in all piggery long, long making. We just need some assistance. We just need some money somewhere long. Just help him all display young plum mangi. Look out in pig long all year. The rising in sea level is encroaching on the beaches and a risk to the turtle nesting areas. Okay. Now it, one uh, plus one plus something I'm going to affect him in bottom all population blow. Let back load. Numbers blow me. Apart from me blow all money go dig him. Careful, chim kai kai na. Also like I am rising sea level. All big big blow waves will come. Also come big big blow waves will come time. Ah, big blow wind come na. Where I am no good at much. Big big blow waves will come na. Dig him. Now, Mipla must look savvy as Mipla is stable gold. Gold and savvy on Mipla, on side, on this, on work, on trousers. Also now, now, you my community, on Karkum, Mipla must get up now. Mipla must. One of the differences we play stop, we play by senisim, no we play by crapim this la work again. We play by serious, serious long working this la work come up again. We like to talk about this. Our problems are coming inside now. Bagarabim something. Plan this something we play some making we play no just working something we are saying. We will go to boom one time, pass a good blood thinking, and make him something. One blood, two blood, three blood, man, soul, will walk him something, go on. Then community come inside, make him the project, say go on, go back up. The challenges are varied and all depends on the community coming together to further their prospects. People's livelihoods are interlinked to ecosystems management and biodiversity conservation. When people look after their environment, benefits they receive are clean air, water, food and other material for their health and well-being. In PNG we are fortunate. The resources are owned by the people. And it's their food bank, it's their pharmacy, it's their clothes factory, you name it. So they get the environment services for free from the environment. So it's not just about conserving and sustaining, restoring and protecting the leatherback turtles. It's about building that environment consciousness in the communities to appreciate the value of the environment that they live in and the benefits they get out of the environment. The project has continued and Adolf and a small group of people have continued the work. The population of Western Pacific leatherback turtles is still a concern as the species are still on the IUCN red list of endangered species. The leatherback turtles continue coming during the breeding season annually. Therefore, the work of the coastal villages in Medang are still important for the protection of the leatherback turtles. Now you look him, long continuing generation don't play, like I'm saying, me, me got two Miriam stop, Papa I'm stop, me stop, me got a picnic, me play four plus generation stop one button. Now you look him, two and a Miriam stop yet, now this is the same Miriam, multiply and come up 110 plus one piece. This line and put him strain and put him only make again long resource now. Something I must come up again. Lo bung tam lo em stay em talk talk me talk. I must come up again. Now one plus something too awesome. You me all got to save lo talk blo God. <coughs> now you talk long bush ground say bagger up. God em put him all animals. Lo bush na lo numbers too. Lo look out him. Em talk you must look out him. Now me ama must lo this la when em project must carry on because me ama must so same name blo community blo me ama pair up lo world there. Yeah. I am a master of this project. I must carry on. I go. Lo good plan, lo community, lo me plan. Lo good plan, lo you may all get the people inside lo this la community.
Despite a troubled past, the community is healing the schisms and showing will to work together for the benefit of the community as well as for the benefit of the endangered leatherback turtle and the whole of the ecosystem surrounding the village. Karkum and the neighbouring villages face the same challenges as other village communities around Papua New Guinea. The equilibrium between people's livelihood, poverty alleviation and environmental sustainability need to be struck. At the moment, Karkum has a way to go before that happens. However, there has to be active participation of families and communities together with the support of government, non-government organisations and research teams. So, you know, unlike other grant programs um, that are administered by international NGOs and the UN, this is considered a high-risk program and that's, um, it's deliberately a high-risk program. So it's for communities who don't usually have uh, the capacity, the financial tools, the, don't have access to putting together a very good grant and having a very good financial system. The whole point and the whole beauty of the program, I suppose, is that it comes from the villagers themselves and the communities themselves. And we assist them in giving them that grant in order to develop um, a project that will benefit them. So this is not determined and based on the usual criteria that the UN has, which is financial sustainability, um, bookkeeping, credit, it's more established on the willingness of the community and of course that the issue they're trying to address. And so that's why I think it's often can be a very successful program because it's not imposed on anybody um, at that level. It's very much determined from the bottom up and the, uh, the, the people who give out the money for this fund have agreed that a high-risk um, program is, is good and it works well. There is clearly strong consensus in all the four villages we have visited that the conservation projects are of benefit to the communities and furthermore give them hope that the work being done is having a positive impact on the nature. There are still unsolved issues that will in time be dealt with by the organizations financing the conservation areas. Papua New Guinea and its people are able, ready and willing to lend a hand to help the environment and they are looking to a better future. Watch the animals, the fish, the birds, the sky, the wind, which way it blows. When to plant and when to harvest, when to hunt or set sail for trade. The thunder where it claps, they tell the time and season, everything falls in its time. Then came the preacher man, prophesying about the end of time, the impending doom. The wrath of God and man